بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله this is Zuhair Giraj founder of Afia Healing here to share a few words with regards to the ongoing crisis and the pandemic that we uh, faced with uh, on a global level so الحمد لله وشكر الله with Afia Healing you know one of our core teachings and understandings is that all of our ailments and our issues are affected by our emotional states and something that is happening you know so much these days is this whole element of fear and uh, you know whether you're genuinely scared or you're not scared the fear is prevalent okay and and subhanallah the sources of that fear generally is media and social media more so so i don't like you know sitting in front of the tv for hours but i will happily scroll through hours through my facebook feed or my instagram post and in that you will see a lot of you know conspiracy theories or people dying or you know there's threat of this and so we also see panic buying everywhere this is going on and you know no lie but everyone gets sucked into it now you think hold on i'm not going to panic buy but the time i need something there might not be anything in the shops i've got children i've got a family um we do need loo roll okay you have to wipe before you wash ideally um because that's also a sunnah so a lot of these things, subhanAllah, when you start putting it to context, you know, there is a need for urgency. There is a slight need for urgency. But at the same time, subhanAllah, there is time for khair. Okay, as the Prophet wasallam said to the nearest meaning that in every affair, in every situation, there is khair for the believer. There is opportunity for the believer. Let them not worry. Let them not stress. Because again and again, we're reminded, aren't we, that tens of thousands of people are dying on a daily basis mostly due to hunger not eating food okay due to sickness due to diabetes due to heart conditions how many people today that are scared of uh, you know this virus attacking them might just end up in a car crash or might end up in some form of accident they might slip trip fall and die ultimately the bottom line is is that we are scared of death isn't it that's ultimately what it is we are scared of dying um, and if we're not going to die and if we're not scared of death then we are scared that we're going to starve and if we're not going to starve we're scared that our children will starve subhanallah so people let's take a gentle deep breath in let's try this out in out and with every breath just feel yourself calming down okay before anything uh, comes up before you go out to do something before you become reactionary stop and take a few breaths because this is so vital to the way that you are going to survive and deal with this period of test and we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us nicely in the Quran and surely we are going to test you from that which is from fear and that which is hunger min al amwal and that which is going to cause you uh, loss in your in your mal in your in your wealth wal anfus and in yourselves was thamarat and in your fruits wa bashir is sabirin and give glad tidings to those who are patient so Allah subhanahu wa taala requires from us patience and this is something that we are losing sight of we are losing the grip of the rub who looks after us who brought us into this world who sustained us who fed us who clothed us who you know made us well when we were ill is still our rub our rub is still there and know one thing that despite all the conspiracy theories out there nothing happens without the will of Allah nothing will happen without the will of Allah except that this is the will of Allah and that virus will touch whoever Allah has willed it to touch and also understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has categorically said, okay, this is a message for all the conspiracy theorists. Makaru wa makarullah. Wallahu khairul makirin. Makaru, they plan. Makarullah, Allah is planning. And Allah is the best of planners. So, know that despite and regardless of their plan, Allah's plan is above theirs. And Allah allows certain things to just carry out and get on with why so that he can test our response and that's all that is required how are you oh my believer going to behave how are you going to respond and this is what it's about people that surely we will test you surely we will we will put you through trial and this is what it's all about is how do we respond in that test 
Are we going to tick the right sheets? Are we going to tick, uh, tick the wrong sheets? What are we going to do? And so in this moment in time, subhanAllah, we need to be composed. We need to come back to the deen. We need to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So many people, alhamdulillah, have now started coming back to the deen. This is a time, you know, when I try to um, think about it uh, on, a, on, a, on a broader scale, this is all about bringing people back. And people have the opportunity. Either they come back or they move further away. The choice is yours. There is a cleansing, a spiritual cleansing that's happening. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in His infinite mercy. You know, He has given us this month of Rajab. And this month of Rajab, the Mashaykh say, Rajab, Shahrul Ajab. That this month of Rajab is an ajib month. It is a strange month. Strange things happen in it. And so this is our opportunity. And Rajab, subhanAllah, is one of those months that is of the four sacred months that it, it's it's um, it's standing and it's it's uh, you know grandeur is is up in the in the in the of the of the 12 months so rajab is one dhul qaada dhul hijja and muharram these are three that are are paired up later on so rajab is the month in which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would make a dua at the beginning allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa sha'ban wa balighna ramadan oh allah grant us uh, blessings in Rajab and Sha'ban and allow us to get to the month of Ramadan and this subhanallah you know if we look at our pious predecessors our elders in families they would say we you know we knew of people that would start fasting in Rajab they would fast through till Sha'ban and they would go through Ramadan and then the, the last six days after and so there is a preparation that is taking place there is a spiritual cleansing that is taking place and it is for us to take advantage of these moments the moments of isolation the moments of khalwa these are not condemnations these this is nothing to do with you know putting you down and taking your rights away no allah everything is with allah everything is with allah allow it okay maximize see what you can do how can you upgrade your spiritual levels understand how you can upgrade your emotions Understand how you can rebond with your family. This is a unique opportunity that is like, inshallah, once in a lifetime. That the people that are passing through this, you know, in years ahead, we will be able to go and talk about it. Okay, people remember the last recession that happened only 10 years ago, and this is going to hit again. And it will hit harder as they had predicted already. They knew it was coming. Okay, but what are we going to do about it? And what we are doing about it simply is our response has to be the correct one. It has to be aligned with our intentions so that it may reconnect us at a deeper level with Allah and the Prophet ﷺ. And this, inshallah, if you keep this at the forefront of your mind, and if you understand one thing very clearly from an Afia healing perspective, from an alternative healing perspective, is that our emotions determine our well-being. Our thoughts connect to our emotions. Our thoughts are electrical and our emotions are chemical. Every time you go into the fear response, your body feels like it has to now change its state physiologically so that it can survive, known as a fear, the fight, flight or freeze response. And when we start to do this, subhanAllah, what are we doing to our body? We are causing our body to go into stress mode. When we enter into stress mode, our body, uh, you know, the, the nervous system enters into the sympathetic nervous system, meaning that blood is now pushed away from your vitals and it goes off into your arms and into your legs and into your brain, but not your frontal. So this is why even in times of stress, you cannot think straight. The idea is to slow down. The idea is to just take a step back. The idea is to stop, switch off your social media, switch off the news. Please, please, please switch off the news. Does not matter what is happening around the world. You know, if anything is of urgency, they will come and tell you. They'll tell you, okay, stay home or go out and go buy some more toilet roll, more toilet roll in this supermarket. Go and do that. That's fine. But until then, just switch off. Allow yourself five minutes a day in the morning and the evening just to close your eyes and just become present in your body. This is the time, the opportunity for you to come home. Because the whole time we're living outside, our thoughts and our, our energies are just being thrown around everywhere. And this is causing mass hysteria. Okay, if we just did the same about diabetes or we did the same about cancer, then, you know, we'd find cures. But again, this subhanAllah, makaru wa makar Allah, this is their plan and Allah is planning above that plan. And so we will see what comes of it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us steadfastness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us direction. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be calm, 
for us to remain safe and to be protected please read your sunnah al-kars morning and evening okay your fatiha aital kursi last three calls and then the du'as from the sunnah bismillah ladhi la yadhru ma ismi shayun fil ardu wa la fi samai wa huwa samiyal alim three times you read it give it to your children let them read it pass it on okay because this is what we are relying upon we are relying upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah allows that virus to touch us or not not anyone else if you could have your whole hands you could be covered pink you know if that's what the color of the virus is and it could be all over your hands and you're rubbing your eyes and ears and if allah did not want that virus to enter you nothing's touching you but then subhanallah someone across you know the road on that side sneezed once and it if it was airborne and if it flew and Allah wanted it to touch you, it will get you. So we are not safe from anything, people. Recognize your reality. Realize who you are. Realize that we are being reminded and we are being brought back to the calling of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we are now entering in those last phases of this dunya, of this whole creation. And this might just be your last day, might be my last day. Who cares? Okay, but what are we taking with us? What are we taking with us? Are we taking this fear with us? Are we taking this panic with us? No. Let's move on to, you know, our protection du'as. Give sadaqah daily. Just get a tin, put some money in there. And then when the time is right, or you see a charitable cause, go and give them that, you know, full amount of money. But every day sadaqah will still count for you. Okay, get your children to do the same. Get them to read the sunnah azkars. Read salawat on the Prophet sallallahu and allow and use this time to connect with yourself bring yourself back home and inshallah i will be doing more of these lives um, in the coming days i've got so much on my mind to share with you guys if there is anything more that you would like to know please um comment below inshallah and we will touch on those subjects there's so many things i need to talk about um but at the same time inshallah what you can do is share the video okay there's so many people that are just all over the place with this and they just need some, uh, you know, voice uh, of calm uh, during this period. We need the calm within the storm. Okay, so don't be those people that agitate and, you know, become a fire starter. No, we want to bring calm all around us, inshallah. So more videos to follow, but please, inshallah, share this. Um, and I will share a, a YouTube link uh, soon as well. May Allah bless you, raise you, increase you and protect you from all harm. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.